Grab your Lederhosen. Today we're making pretzels, but not any kind of pretzels. We're making spinach dip stuffed pretzels. Amazing. Like those pretzels you get at the mall that are filled with cheese, um, but we're gonna put it with spinach dip inside because I love spinach dip. Amazing. So the first thing we gotta do is get our yeast going. Um, so in our mixing bowl, I have one tablespoon of honey. You can replace it with maple syrup, sugar, brown sugar, just anything to add a little sweetness. Then I've got three quarters of a cup of warm milk. This you can replace with water too. Um, I just am making it a little richer. We're filling it with spinach dip, why not? So I'm just stirring in my honey. Get it mixed in there. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add uh, one and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. So we'll just sprinkle it on top. You don't need to mix it in. As long as it gets a little moisturized, we're good. All right, there we go. So we're gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes so it's all foamy and then we'll make our dough. All right. Our yeast looks all foamy, so we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. I've got two tablespoons of melted butter. If you don't have butter, you can use oil. Just butter, it's so much more delicious. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt and two cups of flour. And then we're gonna pop this onto our mixer uh, with the dough hook. And we're gonna let it knead for like six to eight minutes probably until it's a nice firm ball that seems smooth. So I'm gonna get that mixing in our mixer and we'll see you in a few. All right, if you see our dough here, it's just in a ball. It's not sticking to the sides of the mixer. If we turn it off there, um, you can feel it's just soft, supple, it's not very sticky. So that's perfect. So I'm gonna put that into a Grease bowl, uh, pop a lid on it or a saran wrap, and we're gonna let it sit for one hour to rise and relax. And then we'll fold up our delicious pretzels and stuff them with spinach dip. So our dough is resting and we're gonna work on the spinach dip part. You can fill your pretzel with um, something else if you want. If you want like maybe a cheesecake type one, you could do cream cheese, a little sugar. That would be really good, covered in cinnamon sugar. Yes, amazing. Um, but I love spinach dip, so that's what I'm filling mine with. Um, so I've got about a quarter cup of softened cream cheese. I'm gonna add uh, about a tablespoon of sour cream just to loosen it up a little bit. Then I have uh, about two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. I've got two tablespoons of Spinach. I just buy that frozen spinach. Um, I cut off a chunk of it, let it thaw, and squished out all the water. You can also cook down regular spinach, but that's probably like 800 pounds of regular spinach that's been cooked down. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, and then we're gonna add a little black pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, then Normally when I make spinach dip, I use Knorr vegetable soup mix, which is super delicious, but unfortunately I don't have any. So I'm gonna add to this about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. If you do have the vegetable soup mix, uh, use that, it's so yummy. And probably you'll need about like a teaspoon of it. But this will be good too. So I'm just gonna let this stir up. And then um, always taste things. So taste it, see if it's how you like it. If you need more salt, if you need um, lemon juice or something, go with that. But this looks pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna leave this out at room temperature because we want it soft when we fill our pretzels, but it's all ready to go. And then uh, once our dough is ready, we'll stuff them and get them in the oven so we can eat them. this dough, baby. So this is all ready to go. It sat for an hour. Now I'm gonna cut it into four. And then we're gonna roll them out into pretzels. Okay, looks great. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is make this into a wormy. 
And to stuff it, we're gonna have to flatten it out and then put our spinach dip inside. Okay. So you wanna make sure your wormy's pretty long that you're gonna be able to make a pretzel shape. <laughs> so I'll just keep doing that, it'll be one minute. So I've rolled out all of our wormies and now using a rolling pin, I'm gonna flatten it out like so. And then um, I just put my spinach dip into a disposable piping bag. But if you don't have one of these, you can also just put it into like a Ziploc bag and then just snip the end off. So I'll cut that. Awesome. So we're gonna do a, like a line of our spinach dip down the middle. You don't wanna put too much in because you gotta pinch it around and it will squish out. So you just wanna wrap it around the dough and make sure it's sealed with a pinch. So I'm gonna do that on all these wormies and then we'll wrap them up. <laughs> okay, we got all of our spinach dip in here. I pinched them up. After I pinched them, I give them a little roll just to kind of squish that seam into the dough. And now we're gonna make a pretzel shape. So two ends come around and down. We're just gonna press that in there a little bit and pop it on a, a lime tray with a little flour. And while that's going, I've got a pot of hot water boiling. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of baking soda to that and we're gonna give these a little bath um, as well as I put the oven on to 425 so it, it'll be nice and hot once they're ready to bake. All right, water, baking soda, boiling. Got our pretzels here. So I'm gonna pop them in just one at a time. Hopefully they'll stay in a pretzel shape. Just gently pop them in. About 20 or 30 seconds on each side. Also allow yourself to get a nice facial while you're doing this since none of us can go to the spa. <laughs> awesome, so I'm just gonna do 20 seconds, flip it, put it back on our tray, and then we're gonna egg wash it and pop them in the oven. So I water bath all our pretzels. Some of them slightly exploded a little, but that's okay because it still tastes good. So I'm just gonna egg wash them. If you're doing like your cinnamon sugary one, um, you could egg wash it and then douse it in cinnamon sugar, which would be so good. Um, these are savory, so I just egg washed it. A little bit of coarse salt. I have this coarse lava salt, so that's what we're using. So I'm gonna do that on all of them. Pop them in a 425 degree oven for like, 10, 15 minutes until they're golden brown and delicious. So we'll see you there. Our pretzels are baked and look, they're exploding with delicious spinach dip. Well, these smell super cheesy and amazing and I can't wait to dig in. Um, no mall required, just your own effort in baking. <laughs> awesome, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go eat four ginormous pretzels right now and have an awesome day.